Good morning, students. Welcome to the second session of solid state chemistry. So, in our, in our earlier session, we have discussed about the solids, its types as amorphous solids and crystalline solids. Their properties we have studied. And then we went in bit detail about the crystalline solids. In, the, in crystalline solids, the types we discussed as covalent solids, ionic solids, metallic solids, and the molecular solids. Their properties and examples for them we discussed in our previous session. So today, let us continue further. So in today's session, we will be discussing about the crystal structure. So, the terminologies that we come across in the crystal study and then the parameters that help us to define a crystal and the various crystal structures we will discuss today. So, first of all, let us look into the various terminologies that we come across in the crystallography or in the crystal study. So one of the most commonly used terminology is crystal lattice or also called as space lattice. So what is this crystal lattice or space lattice? This crystal lattice or space lattice refers to the three-dimensional arrangement of lattice points which represent the relative position of the constituent particles in a crystal. So, lattice, crystal lattice or space lattice, I mean, it is the three-dimensional arrangement of the lattice points. So, which gives us the relative position of the constituent particles in a crystal. So in a crystal, how the particles are arranged, where the particles are present. So that picture, this crystal lattice gives us. So it, it gives us the three-dimensional picture of the lattice points, which represents the relative position of the constituent particles in a Crystal. So we can say that this is the period, crystal lattice is nothing but the periodic arrangement of the points or the lattice points. Adhantara skeletal diagram idhahage, so schematic diagram idhahage. So it tells us where the particles exist. So as we have a skeleton, uh, we can say where the hand is, yelli kali de, yelli hatale de, yelli kai de, yelli kai de, yelli kai de, yelli kai crystal lattice coda, it tells us where the particles are present in the three-dimensional structure. So this is one of the terminology that we frequently make use. And then uh, next one more terminology is the unit cell. So this unit cell refers to or it is the smallest repeating unit of a space lattice. So space lattice and the head of the no are the three-dimensional structure. And wow, so our three-dimensional structure only, on the smallest portion, on the smallest part any day, on the smallest unit any day, or the repeat of the whole. So our smallest repeating unit any day only, that is called as the unit cell. So what is unit cell? It is the smallest repeating unit of space lattice. For example, now we can cut to that. You know, bricks, stones, arrange martha hopeve and then of course we plaster all that is there but still a basic unit you know, a stone ir bodu, a brick ir bodu. so that brick which repeats several times or which when repeated several times gives us the whole structure of the house or whatever so such smallest repeating unit of a space lattice is called as the unit cell so, a crystal lattice hege, uh, full on the schematic diagram. Or, so, this is not exactly the crystal itself. So, e, you know, crystal lattice only a point nodi, if it is occupied by the particles, a respective particles, then that forms the crystal. So, this is the 
just a skeletal diagram. So unit cell represent uh, the smallest repeating unit of the space lattice that when repeated several times in the three dimension gives the actual crystal structure or actual crystal lattice. So this is about the crystal lattice and the unit cell that uh, the term terminology that we frequently make use of. One more terminology that we come across is the lattice point. So what is this lattice point? Lattice point is the point that represent an atom, a ion, or a molecule in the unit cell. So unit cell um, uh, in this diagram you can make out. So there are some sp spheres are present. So these spheres uh, they represent the atoms, ions, or the molecules uh, of the crystal. So such point which represent the atom, ion, or the molecule, or in general, we can say the constituent particle of the crystal is called as the lattice point. So, yavude point, only atom or ion or molecule idre. Adana na we sphere thara, you know, represent matteve sphere or point agi represent matteve. So such points or such spheres are called as the lattice point. And then one more terminology that we come across is the lattice plane. So this lattice plane refers to, or it is the plane consisting of lattice points that represent the planar relative position of particles of a crystal. So one the plane only particle gadu yelleli ide anta head one the represent martha dalva. So when we say crystal lattice or space lattice, it is a three-dimensional structure. Okay, whereas lattice plane, it is a two-dimensional structure. So in two-dimensional, uh, uh, a plane, uh, the points, the po there will be points, so which represents the, the, in plane, the relative position of the particles. So such plane, which gives us the lattice points, which gives us the, uh, rep the, the picture of the crystal in a plane, that is called as the lattice plane. So this is about the terminologies that are mostly used in crystallographic study. Now let me move on to the next topic that is the parameters of the unit cell. So when we say parameters, what does it mean? Parameter and the ENO. Parameters means they are the measurable factors in any system. So by which we can uh, define or we can describe that particular system. So unit cell only, yeah, the measurable factors are there, but which we can represent the unit cell. They are called as the parameters. So what are the parameters of the unit cell or what are the measurable factors of the unit cell? There are totally six measurable factors or six parameters. What are they? First one is the relative length of the three edges A, B, and C. So it, it is the relative length along the three edges. So along, uh, say, suppose, if let us consider this is a unit cell, you can make out. So now if I keep this unit cell at the center of a three Cartesian coordinate, uh, at the center of the three Cartesian coordinates, then that unit cell will occupy uh, say let us say that uh, the corner one of the corner of the unit cell is placed at the center of the uh, the cartesian coordinate okay then the edges will be extended the three edges will be extended along the x axis see here along x axis one of the edges present and along y axis one more edge is present and along z axis there is one more edge so this length along the three edges is called as or is a measurable parameter or the parameters of the unit cell. So the length, edge length extended over x axis is A, the parameter A and the edge length extended along y-axis so this length if you consider this is one particular unit cell so this length will be equal to this length and that is b so 
it is the edge length extended along y axis similarly the edge length extended along z axis is called as so this length so that is c okay so the three edge lengths are the parameters one of the parameter i mean the three parameters in general three parameters of the unit cell so edge length along x axis is represented as a edge length along y axis is represented as b and edge length along z axis is represented as c then the other three parameters are the angles between the edges they are alpha beta and gamma the angles between the edges so now see this length is x i mean sorry a so uh, the angle between the edges in the plane made up of the other two cartesian coordinate that is if this is x axis then the angle extend angle extended between i mean angle between the edges along the plane yz is the parameter alpha so alpha is the angle between the edges uh, in the plane y and z and then similarly beta will be the angle so if this is y opposite to that this plane exists correct so which is this plane so this is y axis and the plane in the other two coordinate that is z and x so angle between z and x okay between the edges in the uh, z x plane that will be beta and similarly gamma will be therefore if this is z axis so opposite to that plane so this plane the plane made up of the other two uh, axes that is x and y so that will be gamma so you know a and the helidre edge length x alli x coordinate alli iruvanta edge length a y coordinate alli iruvanta edge length b z coordinate alli iruvanta edge length c anantra other three parameters are alpha beta and gamma so they are the angles between the edges so alpha anta helidre alpha anta helidre it is x alli iruvantaddakke opposite iruva plane galu andre adra you know there are coordinate alli so x alla in eradu so that is zy plane so zy plane alli iruva angle uh, edge na angle that will be alpha then beta will be y alla next to so x and z so angle between the edges along uh, x and z will be beta and similarly gamma will be not z but the other that is xy so angle between the edges along xy axis is called as the gamma the angle between the edges gamma so these six parameters that is the relative length along the three edges a b and c and the angle between the edges alpha beta and gamma represents or they represent the or they describe the, or they help us to describe the whole unit uh, or the whole crystal structure so such parameters uh, are, so these parameters help us to define the crystal structures so this is about the parameters of the unit cell now let us go to Uh, the classification of unit cell so basically the unit cell can be classified into two types they are primitive unit cell and the centered unit cell so in primitive unit cell it is a unit cell in which the constituent particles are present only at the corner position of a unit cell so if the particles are present only at the corners position of the unit cell then that is called as a primitive unit cell so kali corner galalli matra idre unit cell anta helidre adu repeating unit so now we can nama simplicity ge if we consider a simple cube then if the particle is present only at the corner position then we call it as a primitive unit cell corner alli matra particle idre then it is called as a primitive unit cell one more type is 
centered unit cell. So in centered unit cells, the particles will be present at the corners along with that some other positions. So such type of unit cell is called a centered unit cell. So it is a unit cell that contains one or more particles present at positions other than corners in addition to those at corners. So corner na ottige bare position ali kuda particle idre such unit cell is called as centered unit cell. So in unit cells there are two types. They are primitive unit cell in which particle is particle will be present only at the corners of the unit cell. And the second one is the centered unit cell. So in centered unit cell, other than the corner particles, even at other positions, the particles will be present. Corner and a bit to bare position ali kuda particle is gray. And the do centered unit cell after Again, the centered unit cell can be classified into three types based on where exactly the particle is present along with the corner. So corner na ottige in nelli particle kalu unto adra mele based agi we can classify the centered unit cells into three types. They are body centered unit cell, face centered unit cell and end centered unit cell. So body centered unit cell and the the name itself is giving you a clue. It is a centered unit cell and a body centered unit cell. So particle is present at the corners and then one constituent particle will be present at the body center see for example here there are particles at the corners and then there is a particle at the center of the unit cell okay so center of the body so such unit cells are called as body centered unit cells so what are body centered unit cells Body centered unit cells are those in which the constituent particle will be present at the body center of the unit cell along with the particle at the corners. So then second type is face centered unit cell. So in face centered again the name is giving you the clue. It is a centered unit cell. So particle must be at the corners and then it is face centered. So there is particle at the center of the face. So what are face centered unit cells? Face centered unit cells are those unit cells in which there is constituent particle at the center of each face and at the corners. So corner nalli matto center of each face only constituent particle galu idre aga it forms face centered unit cell see in this diagram so there are one do cube anna consider madidre a cube will have eight corners so there are eight particles at the corners so one two three four five six seven and eight so there are eight particles at the corners and then then particles should be present at the center of each face. So yavude vandu cube alli. How many face exist? There will be six faces. One above, one below. One front, one back. One left, one right. Correct? So there will be six faces and the particles will be present at the center of each face say for example here in this diagram we can make out so this is one face so there is one particle here and then this is one face so there is one particle over here and here there is behind one back side one so here there is one face and a particle is here and this is the right face, right side face. So there is one particle over here. And ikade left it on the face there. So other center alikuda on the particle either. So such type of uh, unit cells in which the constituent particles are present at the center of each face and at the corners. Corner matu uh, 
ಈಚ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ಫೇಸ್ ನ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಟೂ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಫೇಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ದರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಸೊ ಎಲಾಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಟೂ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಎರಡು ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇದ್ದು ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಕಾರ್ನರ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಏಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಪೋಸಿಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ and there is one particle over here so such type of unit cells are called as end centered unit cell okay so uh, in uh, centered unit cell there are three types they are body centered unit cell face centered unit cell and end centered unit cell in body centered unit cell eight corners will have the particle and then one particle will be at the body center in face centered unit cell corners particles will be present at the corners and then particle also will be present at the center of each face and in end centered unit cell particles will be present at the corners and then particles will also be present at the uh, centers of any two opposite face so this is about the types of uh, centered unit cells so now so those four types basically right one primitive unit cell and then three centered unit cell will be uh, these are the possibilities in unit cell so in unit cell there are four possibilities we can have primitive or body centered or face centered or end centered unit cells we can have so when these unit cells are arranged in a three dimensional pattern when they repeated in a three dimensional uh, arrangement then it gives us the crystal structure so unit cell anna three dimensional alli arrange maartta hodre aga namige whole crystal e sigutade so uh, uh, depending upon the types of the depending upon the arrangement of the particles so we can totally we can have seven types of crystal systems so depending upon measurable parameters we have already discussed so there are six measurable parameters alpha beta gamma a b c edge length a b c and the angles between the edges alpha beta gamma so avugala mele depend aagi we can have seven crystal systems yelu reetiya crystal gala crystal system galu irbodu what are they cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic hexagonal and rhombohedral so these seven types of crystal systems are possible see here a cubic crystal structure is possible and then tetragonal crystal structure is possible and then we can have orthorhombic structure and then we can have monoclinic structure and then triclinic structure hexagonal structure and rhombohedral structure uh, this you have to remember c t tom c tom the hero okay so c chris chris tom the hero so c refers to cubic tom t o m tom so tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic tom tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic the hero so the triclinic hexagonal rhombohedral 
so seven crystal systems exist cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic hexagonal and rhombohedral so how uh, the parameters are uh, what are the parameters of this crystal systems we will discuss now so in cubic so see this a will be equal to b will be equal to c all the three edges simple cube we have seen right so in that all the edge lengths will be equal and all the edge angles also will be equal and it will be equal to 90 degrees so a will be equal to b a will be equal to c and then alpha will be equal to beta will be equal to gamma and it is equal to 90 degrees so that is about the cubic then if you look at the tetragonal so uh, so here uh, the best way to remember is just keep in mind that see here so this side alpha beta gamma equal to 90 degrees so in the three first three you keep it you have to arrange this uh, uh, what crystal types in the same pattern that is cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic hexagonal thrombohedral crystal the hero okay so cubic tetragonal orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic hexagonal thrombohedral right anantra you know ikade angle anna nodidre so in the first three you write it as alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 alpha beta gamma equal to 90 degree whereas here you just slightly change that is a will be equal to b equal to c and then here a will be equal to b change this but not equal to c and here the other one a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c okay so in cubic a will be equal to b equal to c and alpha will be equal to beta will be equal to gamma will be equal to 90 degree second type is tetragonal so in tetragonal a will be equal to b but not equal to c and alpha beta gamma they are equal to 90 degree uh, orthorhombic a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c and alpha will be equal to beta will be equal to gamma will be equal to 90 degree and then the fourth type is monoclinic so in monoclinic so here uh, one more this is here see first one a equal to b equal to c the last one is also a equal to b equal to c second one is a equal to b not equal to c last but one is also same way a equal to b not equal to c okay and the uh, middle three term middle three crystal structures will have a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c so in orthorhombic a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c so in monoclinic also a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c and then in uh, uh, angles edge angles angles between the edges or it is also called as uh, axial angle so here uh, in the monoclinic beta will not be equal to 90 degree alpha and beta will be 90 but i mean alpha and gamma will be equal to 90 degree but beta will not be equal to 90 degree and then in triclinic a will not be equal to b will not be equal to c and here none is equal to 90 degree a alpha is not 90 beta is not 90 gamma is also not 90 and they are not equal to each other as well so nothing is uh, equal to nothing so like that i mean nothing is equal to each other so uh, that is about triclinic a is also a is not equal to beta b which is not equal to c and similarly alpha is not equal to beta not equal to gamma not even equal to 90 degrees so the most unsymmetric crystal structure is the triclinic crystal structure then the uh, sixth one is the hexagonal structure so in hexagonal structure last but uh, one so it is a will be equal to b but not equal to c so here so alpha and beta will be equal to each other and will be equal to 90 degree whereas hexagonal structure we know hexagonal rings 
So in the hexagonal ring, what is the angle? It will be 120 degree. So here uh, the gamma will be equal to 120 degree, whereas alpha and beta will be 90 degree. So in rhombohedral structure, A will be equal to B will be equal to C and alpha will be equal to beta will be equal to gamma, but it is not equal to 90 degree. So I hope you all you have or you all have understood. So in cubic crystal structure, so in the first one, A equal to B equal to C. Last one also, A equal to B equal to C. First one, A alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree. Last one, alpha equal to beta equal to gamma, but not equal to 90 degree. Okay, and then in tetragonal, A equal to B, I mean the second one, a equal to B, but not equal to C. Last but one also A equal to B, but not equal to C. So here, uh, the first three has to be same. The first three edge, uh, first three crystal systems should have the same uh, edge angle between the edges or the axial uh, angles. Okay, and in monoclinic structure, and uh, in, uh, I mean, the lens. So in lens, the third one will be A will not be equal to B, will not be equal to C. Fourth is also same, A will not be equal to B, will not be equal to C. See, fifth one is also same, A will not be equal to B, will not be equal to C. So here, this is over. In the fourth one, beta will not be, I mean, beta will not be 90, the other two will be 90. In the fifth one, nothing is equal to 90 degrees. And in the hexagonal, it is very easy because hexagonal structure we know. So alpha and beta will be 90, but gamma will be 120 degree. Last one, all angles are equal, but they are not equal to 90 degree. So this is about the seven crystal systems. Now in these seven crystal systems, we can have the centered unit cells, right? So in centered unit cell, we have seen there are, uh, uh, three types of centered unit cells are possible. That is face centered, end centered, and body centered. So in these seven crystal systems, primitive and the centered unit cells are possible. So based on their combinations, in nature it is found that only 14 uh, three-dimensional crystal lattices are possible. And this was uh, discovered by the Bravis, and hence they are called as Bravis lattice in honor of the scientists. So, so in cubic crystal, we can have, so one thing here again, you have to note in all the seven crystal system, the primitive crystal system is common. So all will be forming primitive crystal systems. And then the last three, that is the hero, triclinic, hexagonal, and rhombohedral, they will only form primitive uh, unit cell, okay? Whereas the first four in cubic, primitive, body, and face centered, uh, B, I mean, PFB, FB, okay, so PFB. So primitive, body centered, and face centered unit cell is possible. I mean, primitive cubic unit cell, body centered cubic unit cell, and face centered cubic unit cell is possible. So, uh, and in tetragonal structure, Primitive and body centered is possible. Face centered will not uh, exist in the nature. And in orthorhombic, primitive, body centered, face centered, and end centered. So in orthorhombic, all the four types of unit cells are seen. So orthorhombic forms primitive, body centered, face centered, and end centered. Monoclinic, primitive, and end centered. So there are seven crystal systems, cubic, tetragonal, crystal, the hero. So cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic, hexagonal, and rhombohedral. So all will form primitive crystal system. The first one, cubic, will form primitive body center, face center. Tetragonal will form primitive body center. Orthorhombic will form primitive body center. It will form all the uh, four. Primitive, body centered, face centered, and end centered. Monoclinic will form primitive and end centered. The rest three only primitive. I hope this is clear to you.
the first one a b c a equal to b equal to c last one is also a equal to b equal to c the la second one a equal to b not equal to c last but one is also a equal to b not equal to c and in between it is a not equal to b not equal to c all the three okay and in uh, angles first three a alpha equal to beta equal to gamma equal to 90 degree so the fourth one will be alpha beta will not be 90 so alpha and beta will be 90 be, uh, i mean alpha and gamma will be 90 and beta will not be equal to 90 try cleaning nothing is equal to 90 degree and they are not even uh, equal to each other the most unsymmetric structure the triclinic and then hexagonal hexagonal let us know that is alpha and beta it will be equal to 90 degree but gamma will not be equal to 90 it will be equal to 120 degree Hex, uh, rhombohedral structure will be alpha beta gamma will be equal to each other but they are not equal to 90 degree so this is about the 14 uh, brevis lattices and the examples are also uh, given so for the cubic unit cell one one example you can remember nacl and copper are examples for cubic tetragonal white tin uh, tin oxide titanium oxide etc uh, orthorhombic rhombic sulfur kno3 barium sulfate etc monoclinic monoclinic sulfur is an example for that and uh, sodium uh, sulfate uh, decahydrate and then potassium dichromate copper sulfate pentahydrate crystal uh, boric acid etc are examples for triclinic and then hexagonal structure graphite zinc oxide cadmium sulfide etc rhombohedral structure uh, calcite that is calcium carbonate and then uh, uh, mercuric sulfide is forms rhombohedral structure so this is about the various physical structure so in today's class uh, today's session we have discussed about the crystal structures various crystal structures first of all we discussed about the various para the various terminologies that we come across that is the crystal lattice the unit cell lattice point and the lattice plane and then we discussed about the parameters of the unit cell they are edge length a b c and the edge uh, angle between the edges alpha beta and gamma and then the types of unit cell we discussed primitive and centered and the types of the centered unit cell we discussed that is body centered face centered and end centered and then we discussed about the crystal system the types in the crystal system uh, the seven types in the crystal system and uh, how the parameters exist what are the parameters of these seven crystal systems or the 14 bravest lattices we discussed so i hope all of you have understood the concept thank you for watching the